Hey everybody, in today's quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to do some selective area sharpening using the high pass filter in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this goes back at least a couple versions. I'm using Creative Suite 6. But what I'm going to show you to do is how to get this result. You can check out the bee's face here from this original image. This technique works very, very well with film images, but it's also really powerful with digital images. <laughs> Hey everybody, so I'm here editing a bunch of film photos that I took uh, last year, a little bit behind. Uh, the one I'm going to show you and the trick I'm going to show you tonight, this is, uh, for record, this was taken with Burger BRF 400. I developed it using D76 uh, concentration of 1 plus 1 for 11 minutes. Okay, Digitized it using my K3, uh, my Pentax K3. And here's the negative. It looks pretty flat, and that's good. That's the way that I processed it as a raw file. Uh, the result that I wanted to get out of it to work here before making it a JPEG. And I'm going to show you a little trick. Uh, you'll notice here that the bee's face is a little bit out of focus. And when I took this photo, the, it was a little bit of wind, so the, the bee here just moved a little bit forward uh, as I was about to take the picture, or I might have moved a little bit, and so his eyes got out of focus. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to zoom in here so we can get a good look at his face. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a handsome bee. Handsome, no, it's like a horror movie. Okay, so let's just mask off his face. Try to get a little bit outside here into the furry bit of the bee because it's on approximately the same focal plane as the face. And I don't want just the face to suddenly be sharp and then the furry bit not to be because it's going to look a little bit odd and unrealistic and I'm trying to avoid that. Okay, that looks like a, a pretty good mask for the purposes of demonstration. I'm going to feather this because uh, I don't want a hard edge and the one I did previously, I did five, I didn't, I felt I could do a little bit better. I'm going to up this to eight. This isn't much, this is a huge aim, image, it's an uh, it's a, a 24 megapixel image, so I can actually make this like 58, and it's going to be fine. I could still work with that, but I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to set it at 10, and we'll see how that looks. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm going to duplicate this, Control J. All right, so here's our layer, and I'll turn off the background, and you can see this is the duplicated layer. Now with this, I'm going to show you how to sharpen this. This is selective sharpening using the... Um, high pass filter so we're going to change this to overlay first set the the blending to overlay because we want to be able to see the results of the high pass filter as they're going to affect the image so i'm going to go into up filter other high pass now you can see that it stopped looking so much like an overlay and now made it a little bit grainy and, and added detail-y so let's zoom out here uh, I never, ever, ever, if I'm trying to make something look realistic, go with a high pass beyond 12. If we jack this all the way up to 160 or 658, uh, it it stops looking realistic. This just looks like something's wrong here. But if we bring it down to, you know, 4.8, 5, even 50, if you can see, it's pretty unrealistic looking. But let's let's make it 10. 10 looks pretty good, a little bit grainy. Let's make it 8. 8 looks really good. Still a little bit soft, so I'm going to duplicate that layer. Now now it's popped out. It's really sharp. It's actually a little bit too sharp because this is at sharper. The, the grain detail in this is sharper than the surrounding image. So I'm going to drop this transparency to 40%. That, I'm starting to look, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, bring this one down to about 85 and see what happens. That's okay. Let's bring it down to 70. That looks good. So now if we make these two layers invisible, you can see the soft uh, original image. And making them visible again, the much more in focus face. So we have used overlay uh, transparency with the high pass filter to correct for a small amount of focus error. You can't do this if you completely missed your focus. But if you're off by a fraction of an inch and you still have some level of focus detail in uh, the rest of the surrounding area, then you can bring back that detail 
with the technique I just showed you.